We are learning how to make these custom awards today, and that's how we do it. Today I decided to make some wrestling awards for my son and two of his teammates who all three qualified for the Illinois Freshman Sophomore State Tournament. I started off by selecting a 1x8 piece of poplar that had a nice grain pattern. I then cut it down to 6 and a half by 6 and a half inches. I used my CNC to put a keyhole on the back. I used the Roman OG bit from my bit set to router the edges. I've included the bit set I use in the description below. I sand all the surfaces with 80, 120, and 150 grit sandpaper. I use Minwax semi-transparent dark walnut to stain the wood. I'm just using a paper towel to apply the stain and to wipe off any excess. I waited about two hours before applying a second coat. I really like how the wood grain can be seen through the stain. After another two hours or so, I apply bullseye clear transparent shellac with a brush. I wait for it to dry, which is about 30 minutes or so, and lightly sand with 220 grit sandpaper. I apply a second coat of shellac, and after it dries, do another light sanding to give it a nice clear shine. I designed the engraving in Carbide Create software. I've sped it up here, however, I have included a link in the description to a slower and more descriptive version of how I did this. I then threw a 5 and 7 8 by 5 and 7 8 square acrylic, which is 3.8 millimeters thick, onto my CNC to be engraved with a 90 degree spring loaded diamond dragnet. I drilled out the four corners on the acrylic for the stainless steel standoff screws I'm going to use. I first drilled a pilot hole so the acrylic would not crack. I then switched to a bigger drill bit to finish drilling out the holes to the necessary size. 
I lined up the acrylic on the piece of wood so I could drill a pilot hole and attach my standoffs. I put a piece of tape on my drill bit to the depth I needed to ensure I didn't drill too far and through my piece of wood. Here you can see the stainless steel standoffs. They unscrew from the top. You attach them with the provided screw through the standoff and into the wood base where we just drilled our pilot hole. I attach clear rubber bumpers onto the back to hold the frame off the wall. I then attach the acrylic onto the standoffs. And now we have a nice little award to be presented to our wrestlers. Thanks for joining us today. I've included links in the description for items used in today's video. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button so we can get more content out to you. If you didn't like what you saw, smash that thumbs down button twice to really let us have it. Until next time, this is John for That's How We Do It, brought to you by Rustic American Woodworks.